I have to change Addie's Dexacom tonight while she sleeps. I already did her Omnipod last night. I didn't know Dexacom expires today. So here I am getting things ready for her sensor change tonight. Hey, I don't need one of those. Thank you, though. Put it back. Oh, thank you. I don't need one of those. Hi. I'm just going to do this while, you, while you're sleeping. Ready for bed? No. Mommy is going to take your dad's come off while you're sleeping, okay? I'm going to put a new one on. It's mine. Yeah, I'm going to put a new one on. It's mine. I'm going to put a new one on, okay? Mine. While you're sleeping. It's on the pond. The pond is on your arm. On? Other one. On the one? Yeah. Dang. Are you feeling better? Uh huh. That's good. Uh huh. That's oh. good. Yeah. Yeah, I can shop. Can you say goodnight? Nah. Say goodnight. Nah. Good night. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Jeez, why are you screaming so loud? So we both fell asleep, and I had to wake up at midnight and take off her old dead scum and do this change because it needed to be done. Now, usually she does really well with these Descom changes at night. And that is because I usually do them right after she falls asleep. Five minutes after being asleep, she's knocked out. This is a few hours into her sleep cycle. And so she woke up to the unisol on her leg. And she kept wanting me. Now, I don't know if this is because... She knew I was going to do this. She, maybe she just was aware. But this is the first time I told her beforehand that I was changing her dad's gum when she goes to bed. And she woke up and she was just not having it. She didn't want me to do it. She didn't want me to touch her. She kept moving away from me. Finally, I just pulled it out from underneath her. After Unisol had been on, been on there for a minute, I just... Yeah, she kept, she just wanted to go to bed. And, um, I don't know. It, it was just not a good, <laughs> not a good time. And this took hours. And, and honestly, after I was done doing her sensor change, she, um, was wide awake. And she wanted me to read her favorite book right now, which was a uh, catalog that I got in the mail from Amazon. Big old wish list for toys. And she loves to read it. I did not want to read that. I told her I wasn't going to read it right now. And she kind of threw a little bit of a fit. But, um... I don't know, she just wanted to go back to bed. But um, I told her I had to get that stuff off her leg. It was pretty gross. And she was good about this part. She was very patient with me. I sped this part up a little bit because it took me some time to get all that gunk off her leg. So she was fine. She was fine with me taking it off. I used her blanket because... I just don't care. And I didn't have a towel. And, um, but she was fine with me taking it off. And I think after I was done, she thought, oh, we're done. But, um, well, you'll see. So I watched, I washed, I wiped off the Dexagon. And she's pretty tired. She just did not 
want to do that right now. She wanted to read her book. She wanted me to live with her. But I had to do the Dexcom first. She tried to take it from me. At first she looked like, no, I don't want to do this, Mom. What do you want to have? She's going to throw it. I took it. She just did not want me to do it. She was just like, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I don't need that right now. She hid under her blanket. And yes. She did not want to be messed with. At all. And um, after a little bit of this, I realized. I realized she was not going to go gently into the night she was upset and after several hours of trying to talk to her trying to put her back to bed I just decided I had to do what I had to do to get that dead scum on her and I share these moments mostly because it's hard it's very hard with a diabetic toddler and this is the worst. This is the worst that it that it gets when she fights me. When she doesn't want to do something that's important. She smiles at me right there like she doesn't know what I'm about to do. But um, I share these moments because they're the hard, ugly, difficult moments. And if you're dealing with a diabetic toddler as well, I want you guys to know you're not alone. You're not alone. This is how it is. It's friggin' hard. Yeah, I tried to give her a second. <laughs> Poor thing. I tried to give her a second because I didn't want to hurt her. So I let her relax a little bit. And then I, I pressed the button. And um, it doesn't really hurt her. She's just She just did not want to do it. She did not want to do it. Once I put the transmitter in... I gave her back her YouTube show and big old crocodile tears. Poor baby. I hated doing this. This was a really, really rough Dexcom change. And then she used to get up until about 4 in the morning because her sleep schedule was all screwed up. So that was great. <laughs>